what's going on everybody this is island hopper tv hotels coming to you from seoul south korea at the fairfield by marriott seoul hotel so decided to stay at this one they say it's a good location i don't know much about seoul so that's why i'm here to discover and learn but you can see they've got Lots of luggage in here. Oh yeah. It's 11.30 in the morning. The room, as you would imagine, is not ready. So, I'm going to keep showing you around. All right, we're on the third floor. This here is the Million Spoons. The restaurant. Well, this is where they do the breakfast. Breakfast, lunch, dinner. Are you guys open for lunch right now? And here they have some meeting rooms. Some banquets. Harmony room. Wow. Quite a few meeting rooms here. Nice and comfortable air, good ventilation. And here's the fifth floor where you have the fitness center. Hello. Get your fitness on. They got some plants in here. Those are not fake plants, they're real. All right, here we are at the room. I think I got a full bar. Nope. Two free waters. I had to buy those at the 7 Eleven downstairs. No biggie. Nothing too hyper sci-fi, high tech about that. Toilet in Taiwan, they make them sci-fi. Let's see, what is this? It's an interesting light. Well, it's like a box, very small. Looks like they've got a walking street down there. So we'll see. Okay, so now for my final review of the Fairfield here at Marriott. I'm actually in Busan at the Fairfield also. Uh, this seems to be a popular chain all across uh, Korea. They don't have any JW Marriott down here. Uh, they have one Westin. There's way more Marriott properties in Seoul. But uh, as far as the Fairfield goes, I would say that... Um, the bed is comfortable. Uh, the customer service is, it works, it works, it's good, but it's not gonna be the world's greatest customer service. You're not gonna get that Marriott customer service. It's kinda, you're just a, another face in the crowd. They just process you. Even if you're an executive uh, level or a titanium elite like I am, uh, they, you don't have any, they don't acknowledge any of that here. Um, you just basically get the regular room. You, you, you know, there's no real preference. Um, and I bring that up because some of you who are loyal to Marriott might be curious about that. Um, there is one thing that they do offer, uh, which is going to be the free breakfast, which comes with your status. Typically, uh, if you're not with the status, you might have to pay for that. 
Um, but you also can get late checkout if you have status. Um, but other than that, I mean, you're just another face in the crowd here. Uh, but for Seoul, for Korea, it works. Um, it's, you're not going to get that Thailand customer service. You're not going to get the Philippine style customer service like some of you might be used to. Uh, it's just typical uh, Northern Asia customer service. <laughs> you're not special or anything like that. You know, it's it's more of the first world uh, economies, you know, and you get what you pay for. This is a budget Marriott hotel. So I bring all that up because it stood out to me as as something. But like I said, the bed is nice. There is no pool. You notice there was no pool. So that, you know, again, that's another thing that you're not going to find pools here. <laughs> I'm looking over here, you know, you don't even have rooftops. You have big, tall towers, but I haven't seen any real rooftop entertainment. So it's just different here, especially if you're coming from Bangkok or, or Kuala Lumpur or Singapore even. It's just different up here. It's North Asia. It's not South Asia. <laughs> um, and also, you know, they're not as used to tourists. They're not as dependent on tourism here. That's, that's another big thing that stands out. So whereas Thailand, Philippines... Uh, Malaysia, they have a tourism industry here. They don't really appear to uh, care about a tourism industry. They might with Expo 2030 coming, but as of right now, I haven't noticed it. I'm sharing all this because I've been going all around Korea. It's a nice place. It's just like your home country, though. It's going to be just like the U.S. It's going to be just like um, Japan, you know, uh, England. <laughs> that's that's what I would say. Overall, I would rate it a 4.7, could be a 4.6. Um, there's better hotels, obviously, but you get what you pay for, right? If you want to save money, this is the budget end Marriott. See you guys on the next one from Busan, which is where I'm at now.